Hi, welcome to the demo for McAfee's virtual network security platform. The integration of McAfee NSP into VMware NSX allows you to dynamically protect, manage, remediate, and support compliance in your software-defined data center with next-generation intrusion prevention system services. This video will provide a demonstration of these capabilities. Let's get started. First, let's go over our demo environment. Let's transition over to our vCenter. So now that we're logged into our VMware vSphere web client, you'll notice that we have an attacker VM and a server VM. We will be protecting the server VM using our virtual NSP and the NSX network introspection services shown in the same cluster. These are named Demo DA1 and Demo DA2. These are the McAfee virtual NSP sensors, one for each host we're protecting in our environment. The network security platform provides that deep packet inspection for each of the resources that we need to protect. Now that we've seen the VMware NSX environment, let's go and look at the NSX network introspection services policies. To explore the policy, we need to get to the service definitions. So networking and security and to service definitions. And here we can see once it loads that the demo DA policy is here. This is the policy that provides the advanced security inspection required to protect our server. So let's attack the server. Then we can go see the events generated and reported to our network security manager. This is the manager of the virtual NSP sensors. So now I've RDP'd into our attacker VM. And as we can see our attacker here on our desktop, uh, he's hard at work trying to exploit that web server that we have that we're trying to protect. And he's gonna open up Firefox. And after we open up Firefox, you're gonna notice that he's got a couple canned attacks up here. Um, first one's a, a command attack, CMD attack. And basically what that does is exploits that CMD EXE vulnerability that exists in our browser. Um, and then we have another one called a snork attack. And he's gonna try both of those. So let's click the first one and you're going to notice that after he clicks it, we see a connecting in that top left corner of our browser. And we also see at the bottom, it shows waiting for the connection. So as he's waiting for this connection to happen, um, you know, he's like, hmm, let's wait a couple seconds, kind of gets frustrated and he stops. So let's stop this attack. He goes, I guess the CMD EXE vulnerability is not going to get through. So let's try our other attack, our snork attack. And he clicks that again, it's trying to connect and still waiting for a connection, nothing happens. And so he waits for a little bit and the attack's going to fail. And there we go. The connection was reset, the attack failed and the attacker was unsuccessful. So he's frustrated and now he's gonna move on to a softer target. We can see that we protected our server. So now let's change our attention over to the McAfee NSM, which is our network security manager, which manages the policies on the virtual IPS sensors. And we're gonna notice that those attacks that we ran, remember it was that command exe and that snork attack are blocked. So let's transition over to that. So we're logged into our NSM, which is the manager for the policies for our virtual IPS sensors, again, that we explored in our vCenter earlier. You'll also see that in our dashboard, we see some information about our top high risk endpoints. Um, this dot 152, that was our attacker VM. So it's interesting we see him popping up because he's done a lot of exploits. We also see some information over here about top attacks. Remember our attacker tried to launch the snork attack and then also the command exe execution attack. So you'll see some of this information is actually in here. And we see a number of other attacks that have happened over the last 12 hours. What we can do though is we can explore them a little bit deeper by looking at the real-time threat analyzer. And in this display, you'll see that we have some information regarding that UDS snork attack as well as the command exe execution. So we can double click and launch these. And from there, you see some more information about it, right? So uh, it's an inbound attack, attack was blocked, and some more information about it. The device that actually blocked it was that demo DA1. So we'll see that it actually was blocked by our inline IPS sensor in our virtual infrastructure. So as you saw in this demonstration, the integration between the McAfee virtual NSP and the policy created in the NSX environment is protecting the server from possible attacks and vulnerabilities. Thank you for your time and please contact your local McAfee rep for any more information. Thanks and have a great day.